Hi there, I'm Sarah from iDesign, and I'm here to give you a walkthrough of how to put together this Kitronic Smart Greenhouse Kit. This Kitronic Greenhouse is fantastic to teach kids about plants and the environment, and how photosynthesis works. Not only that, but kids can also learn how to code as well. It's very straightforward, and I can show you exactly how this works. So let's get right into it. So here in the Katronic Greenhouse on the box, it says that we have to add a few items. So I put these off to the side. I have to add soil, a USB cable, a micro bit, as well as some seeds. So I've chosen dill here. But what you also need is some water, some tape. I have just painter's tape here and three double A batteries. Now let me just show you what's in the kit. So first you'll see is this great pamphlet. It includes instructions on how to code as well as how to put together this kit. So on the very first page, you'll see supplied with this kit. So let's go through what's included in this Smart House Green Kit. So the first item that we'll see on the list is this plastic greenhouse you'll see a clear lid and a black base. So this is going to be used to hold all of the items together. So let's put that here aside. The second item is a water pump. So just like the name describes, it is used to put water into the soil so that we can water our plants. So it's a white water pump and it has a black cord attached to it. Next we have our environmental control board. So this is how we are going to keep track of everything to do with our greenhouse. It is going to track the temperature, it's going to track the lighting, it even has a clock on it to, to water the plant at a certain time. So this environmental control board is going to control your entire greenhouse and it is the brain to your entire smart house greenhouse. It also has on the back the place where we're going to put the batteries. Next is the zip stick. So this tiny zip stick is what's going to light up the plant during the nighttime. So as we know, photosynthesis, one of the items that a plant needs is light, in addition to carbon dioxide and water. So this is really important. We also have a mini prong. So this mini prong actually measures the soil moisture, which is great. So if the soil's dry, it'll start watering it. We also have five crocodile clips. So these are all different colors. We have green, white, red, black, and yellow. And these are used to connect everything to our control board. We also have a zip extension cord. And this is what's used to connect our, our zip onto our control board. And finally, we have a screwdriver. And this is what we'll need to unscrew some of the items on our, our environmental control board. So let's get started. So let's take a look at our manual and see what we need to start with first. So if we open up our manual to the third page, the first few pages are going to give you an explanation of what the environmental control board is, the basic setup and pictures, but the third step is where it gives you the detailed instructions from one to nine. Let's take a look at our environmental control board. So that's this right here. So you'll see that there are various number of items on here. The left hand side we see 3 volt and GND. This is where we're going to connect our crocodile clips. We have up here our temperature, humidity, and moisture. That's where it's going to be calculated into here. We have a little icon for a clock. That's going to keep track of the time for us to know exactly when we need to water it. We also have uh, to the right hand side, these are our solar panel inputs and our high power inputs. So these are where we are going to be putting some of the items for our greenhouse. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is plant our seeds. So we're going to put a little bit of dirt in this small tray right here. Now I'm going to put my seeds in. So today I've chosen to do dill. So I have a few seeds that I'm going to put in. I'm not gonna put the whole package, just gonna put a couple. We don't wanna overwhelm this greenhouse. So I'm just gonna dig a little hole 
and I'm gonna pour some of these in. Perfect. I'm going to cover it up with a little more dirt. So that is the first step. Next we have to put the batteries into our environmental control board. So I have my three AA batteries here. And this, these can be rechargeable batteries and they will recharge using the solar panel. Perfect. We've got the batteries inserted here and we can see the green light. So that's fantastic. Right here is our on and off switch. So if I turn it off, you'll see the light will go off. If I turn it on, the light will go on. Next, we're going to do the environmental control board with the mini prong. So if you remember, the mini prong is how uh, we measure the soil, the moisture of the soil. So the first step is we need to take one of these crocodile clips. It doesn't matter what color. You can pick whichever one you want. They're all the same. The first thing we need to do is connect the zero. P, it's called the P0. So all we do is clip it right on to the P0 there, just right like that. And we wanna make sure that the metal clamp is connected with the metal there as well. Now we connect this to the zero on our board. So we see at the top of our board, we have a zero, one, and two. We wanna connect this to the zero. So again, alligator clamp, just make sure the metal is on there. Now we're gonna take another alligator clip. We'll go to the next one. The next one is a three volt. So we connect one end to the three volt here on the mini prong. So we see here, I've chosen a yellow, goes right here on the three volt in the on the mini prong and now we attach the opposite end to the three volt on our environmental control board so as you can see here that is right in the middle here on the edge we have a three volt so you want to make sure that you're attaching three volt to three volt zero to zero and lastly is gnd so we're going to attach the gnd to the gnd which is this one at the bottom so i'm going to choose white here so again, the GND to the GND. Great. Now we have the mini prong hooked up to our environmental control board. Next step is number four. It says, connect the pump's wires to P13 high power output. So we have our pump here, and as you can see, this black cord that's attached to it has a red cable and a white cable sticking out of here. And we want to attach it to the high powered um, output. So that is on the side here, we see six sections. One is a high power P14, high power P13, and the last one is the solar panel input. So we're asked, to put the pump into the P13. Now this is where the screwdriver comes in. On the top, you'll see that there are um, little screws that you can use for the screwdriver. You don't need to unscrew these right to the very end. You actually just have to unscrew them slightly. If you look inside the hole here, you'll see that there's basically this clamp. So you want to unscrew it so that the clamp opens up. I'm going to unscrew I'm going to unscrew both of them. So when I unscrew them both, the clamp opens up for me to insert these wires. Now the red wire is going to go to the positive side and the white is going to go to the negative side. So the negative is on the left and the positive is on the right. We're going to put our white cable into the left-hand side of P13. So let's do that first. You basically just insert it into that hole and now we hold it there and screw it in. Now once we screw it in, that flap is going to bring down and it's now going to connect the cables. Next we're going to the other side. So the red is on the right hand side into the positive. Again, you want to put it into the hole. Just hold it there while you screw it in. And voila! We've now connected our water pump 
to our environmental control board. And as you can see, the clamps have now gone down. If you give it a little tug, it shouldn't come out. It should be secure in there. And we've completed step four. Next is number five. So this is connecting our zip stick. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this zip stick is what's going to give the plant light when it's dark out. And what, a fun fact, red and blue light is actually fantastic per, for plants when it's dark out and helps in the photosynthesis process. So that's what these LED lights are, are going, going to be red and blue to help the plant grow. So for connecting our zip stick, we have this zip stick cord. So first we want to connect, let me just put this down. First we want to connect the three pronged end. So this goes into here, it says zip LED out. So there's a little section that has three openings. This is where we're going to insert our zip extension. So something to remember is which side does it go? The black side on the left hand side or the black side on the right hand side? Which way does it go? So something to remember is that the black goes to the GND side. So if we look on our, our environmental control board, we see the GND is on the side closest to where our water pump is connected. So if I have my black connected to the left hand side or on the screen, it'll be a right hand side. And we simply insert it just like that. Perfect. Now we need to connect the zip stick to the opposite end. So again, we want to make sure that the black is connected to the GND side. So when we have our prongs, you'll see that the GN, there's actually two GND sides. Only one has a prong on the GND side. So we want to connect the black with the GND side on the bottom. And there we go. Now we've connected our zip stick to our zip extension, which is now connected to our environmental control board. So we're almost there. We've got our water pump connected. We've got our zip, which is our light, and we have our moisture meter connected. So next, we simply need to place this into our Kitronic greenhouse. So what we need to do is we need to slide it in so that the alligator, we might have to move the alligator clips upwards. There we are, so that it fits nicely into this, this slot. Whoop. Perfect. So this fits fantastic. We have the pump that's sticking out to the outside of the greenhouse. Our alligator clips are inside the greenhouse. We have our zip and we have our moisture meter. So now we are going to connect our moisture meter into the soil. And it's as simple as, I'm gonna move these alligator clips around again, as sticking it right in the soil. We're going to dig it all the way to the bottom and I'm going to just move the dirt around. And there we are. We now have our moisture meter called the mini prong inserted into the soil and that is attached to our environmental control board. Next, we're going to input our water pump. So you'll want to keep the cord up and you'll see there's a hole at the bottom for, for the water and that will go downwards into this section. And there is a little groove inside this black base and you're just going to place it right in there. Great. Now that we have that placed, we can actually fill it with water. So I've already have my cup filled with water and I'm just going to pour some in. Perfect. Now that's all full. Let's go to the next step. So the next step is placing our zip stick. So that's where the tape comes in handy. So I'm just gonna get a little piece of tape. I'm using painter tape here and it's green for the greenhouse, but I would suggest also using scotch tape or any other tape that you have laying around your classroom or your home. 
So what we are going to do is these white lights here need to be pointing down towards the greenhouse. So we are going to tape it to the top of the greenhouse, just right in the middle here. And I'm just going to put a piece of tape right over the top. Perfect, there we go. And now we're going to attach the lid. So again, get a little piece of tape and we're gonna use this piece of tape as a hinge so we can open and close the greenhouse lid. Perfect, now we're just going to attach the lid and I've got a piece of tape for our hinge. Now we have our greenhouse all completed. So we have our lid over top. We have our zip, zip stick connected to the top here. We have our water pump, which is now submersed in water. And we have our environmental control board. Now next, and last but not least, we need to connect our micro bit and start coating. So with the micro bit, you will want the section that says micro bit pointing towards the greenhouse. There's a little slot on the environmental control board where you're just going to slide this in. It doesn't have to go all the way with, all the way in, you're just going to want to push it slightly. Now last but not least, we are going to connect our USB cable to the top of the micro bit so that we can connect our computer. Now we can connect the USB to our computer and get coding.